Still good afternoon and this is now our last part which is part 9 of our second day Dialux Evo training. Okay, I forgot something. I know somebody asked me about the texture for this floor. So this one you need you don't need to create in 3D object but you can just create it in texture, these tiles on the floor. See, this is the most important part of this video and I forgot to add it, but it's now here. So let's go to the texture materials and pick the materials. See, now you can uh, see that this uh, floor is a texture and how I get this is based on the CAD file. And I will show you how to do that. So based on the CAD file, see this um, AutoCAD file, you can actually Okay, so based on this CAD file, you can actually make an um, image by printing it as an M image. Now I have it here. See, it's a JPEG file. So once you open your AutoCAD file, so for example, let's go and open it. You can either screenshot or create or print an image from that file. So right now, see, I have here, this is the one I created in... Uh, a screenshot or I think I created it into print so and then I made this one as an uh, a texture and then I imported it into Dialux Evo and make it as a texture in that f um, project so this is the so this is the dial uh, the CAD file I turn off some of the textures like the trees sorry I turn off some of the layers like the trees see the trees now it's gone here. I will turn it off again. And then I print this one. Zoom extend. So control P. I print it as JPEG here. Either in JPEG. Either you can print it as JPEG and create, um, select the high resolution. And then just press OK. And now you can have your uh, JPEG file from this AutoCAD file. So now it will be look like this and once you created a JPEG file, now you can import it to your uh, Dialux file. For example, this one. Let's go and open this one again and then make sure that you selected your um, texture. Go back to the materials tab and then create texture material and then select your JPEG file which you created from the, the CAD file. Oops, where is it now? Okay, it's here. So for example, I will select this one and then open. Now it's here now. So you just have to apply material. And now you can see that it's here, but the scale is wrong. So you have to edit it. Just like that. And then make sure that it will fit to your site area. Okay, it will be look like that. And then the other thing that I need to tell you is how to aim the floodlight. For example, here I, I highlighted this post using this floodlight. So you can select this floodlight, for example, and click this edit joints and then set illumination point. And then now you can aim your floodlight accordingly. See, so you can just aim it example again let's aim it somewhere now it's aimed downward again if we aim it at the top now you can aim it so yeah you can press select this one and then aim your floodlights accordingly until you reach the correct elimination for this pole all right so I think it's done okay so that's it and yeah, we're done.